JCA official. Her Instagram is Chris and Nicole official. We also have Yahweh Music LLC, so be sure to check out our music. All right, we're gonna get into it. All right, so this one is because you're young. Yes. So the reason why I wanted to talk about this topic is because I've heard that a lot. Um, because you're young, blah 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 blah, or do this and that because you're young. But for those of you who may have similar feelings about wanting to be able to, to rest or really just get yourself together, a lot of us millennials kind of feel like we just don't have it together and it's crunch time to get everything done. And if you don't have everything done by 30, then you're a failure. And then if you are still working on getting yourself together by 40, it's all over. Right. But because you're young, I encourage you to breathe, take it easy, sleep, be kind to yourself, say no, and most importantly, don't run yourself ragged. You shouldn't have to feel like you have to work a whole bunch of jobs or for, go to school um, in a certain amount of time or work and go to school and struggle to make ends meet while doing so because you're trying to pay school off um we'll get into that in another episode because i'm all for school we both have degrees so i'm not saying don't go to school mm -hmm. but what i'm saying is you want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself right. and you're doing what's in the best interest for you before i move on do you have anything that you want to say um I think we should just break down each point a little bit just to give them our take on each one. Like breathe, take it easy, sleep, you know, being kind to yourself, saying no, because all of those different things have so many layers and there's so much detail you can go into. But without going into too much detail, we want to kind of give you like almost like a little bit of a survival guide for not only being a millennial, but for people always telling you that so-and-so is occurring or this and that is happening or you feel or think or are going through whatever because you're young. Youth is not an excuse. So, you know, we're we're gonna we're gonna break it down and delve into that. Okay. So breathe. The reason why I put that there is because a lot of times we get so caught up in the hustle and bustle mm -hmm. that we forget what it's like to have a moment to ourselves. Correct. We spoke about that in the last episode, which was getting through a rough patch. Yeah. And what we had addressed there was that we, a lot of times, don't make time for things that we love to do, and then it just feels like we're stuck right. in a place that we don't want to be in. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that actually does happen because you're young. Mm -hmm. which is ironic and that's also why I wanted to do this topic because you're young you're still fighting to prove yourself right because you're young you don't have seniority at your job or because you're young you're expected to have this and that degree for an entry-level position right. which is why it's so important for you to breathe um, take it easy take it easy is basically not taking on more than you can handle. Right. Um, I think both of those, not to cut you off. No, it's good. I, I think both of those, uh, breathing and take it easy, guys, is, is correlated. Right. Uh, guys and gals. So it's almost like both of them play off of the same concept of pacing yourself. And what my wife is really trying to say to you is that, you know, pacing yourself is the most important. It's more important than your successes your accomplishments, and even more important than your results. Because mm -hmm. whether you do everything quickly and fast-paced and speed determines the winner in your case, or whether it's slow and steady wins the race, you have to pace yourself. No matter how fast you are, 
it's got to be at a certain pace that you can actually keep up. You got to be able to maintain that pace. So, you know, that that's kind of where we're getting going with that. And then sleep. Leads us to sleep. Because sleep is literally where your body goes through its restoration process. Mm -hmm. You absolutely need to do that. You so you choice. have to make sure that you're leaving enough time in your schedule to not only breathe, to not only take it easy, but to recharge and sleep. Right. And um, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about that in another uh, vlog as well yeah. about you know how to take care of yourself because sleep is important for your mental and your physical healing and overall well-being yeah i remember there was one year where on social media uh people were hashtagging and it was trending team no sleep and it was like everybody was just professing to be you know about the hustle and bustle and, and the life of, of grinding and, and starting up right. you know businesses and just you know what I mean getting as much work done as possible and that was one of the leading trending hashtags on pretty much every platform was team no sleep and I remember thinking to myself not sleeping made me sick I you know was I mean? just gonna say and it was like I was my most unproductive yeah. when I didn't sleep. Do you agree with that? You get brain fog and all kind of stuff. All kind of stuff. It's like, if people like us, we we are what's called a quote-unquote workhorse. Each one of us individually were like that before we got together and got married. So we were always trying to see the optimal amount of success and results from our work. We wouldn't let anybody tell us no if we knew in our minds and our hearts the answer was yes. We were those people. But it was like, our heart was set on something, our, our spirit would compel us to do it. And we would set ourselves, our vision toward that, and our passion would be on that. So we would do it with passion. But when you have a lack of rest or a lack of rejuvenation, it affects the quality of what you're doing. Absolutely. And for people like us, it's not just about the quantity of work you accomplish, it's the quality. So just keep that in mind, y'all. When you're not resting adequately, and it goes back to taking it easy, making sure you breathe and pace yourself in whatever you're doing. When you're not doing those things, it affects the quality of your results. Well, it's also like we said in getting through a rough patch mm -hmm. where I had said we all have the same 24 hours in the day. Yeah. So you just have to be wise about how you're spending it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then be kind to yourself. Um, That's a big this is kind of what I was touching on before um, earlier in this episode where it's kind of like a lot of times we're hard on ourselves like why haven't I achieved this yet or I should be doing that and you really need to take a moment to reflect and more so look at the things that you have already accomplished because you are goal oriented and because you are driven mm -hmm. you will get those other things done. Right. Say no. It's okay to say no. And you have to learn when to say no. Saying no is very vital, not only for your health, but for your survival. Yeah. So when you're in a pinch, you got to know when to say no and what to say no to. Don't be a people pleaser or a yes person. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's okay to say no sometimes. Because they say when you say no, you say yes to something else. Correct. One so, door closes, another one opens. For example, you can say no because you need time to breathe. Yeah. You can say no because you need to take it easy. Yeah. You can say no because you need sleep. You don't have to run yourself ragged, which is the, the next point. If you run yourself ragged, you may accomplish what you wanted to in the first place, mm -hmm. but at a cost. Because you'll miss out on certain things that are actually vital and important. Um, Sometimes it's family. You'll miss out on time with your family. Um, if you're young and you have children young, you'll miss that time with your children to really cultivate certain things within them and to be there in their special moments. And, and that's something you'll regret when you get older. And I want to help you back on that. Even if you're there, even if you're, you're actually present, you may not necessarily be present-minded if you're running yourself ragged. So when you're there and you're in their lives and you're there for your family or you're just there for those moments in life that matter the most and are the most enjoyable and most important, you're not going to always appreciate them. You're not going to always be there, quote unquote, like there, like presently. 
because your mind is either in the past or the future since you're so tired or you're just you're, you're down like your energy's down your, your, your body is is feeling the effects of not resting and you know you, you, when you run yourself ragged like that you don't get to appreciate the fruits of your labor and that's something the word speaks about is is you know to make sure that you actually do work yeah, of course and work to the maximum and do do everything in excellence but make sure that you give yourself room give yourself a chance to ease up, kick your feet up, and appreciate the fruits of your labor. It's why you're working. Okay. So. so, your younger you is preparing for an older you. Yeah. All things that you're doing now have an effect on your future. Yeah. You are not lazy for wanting to rest. You are not incompetent because you are not drowning in debt for a master's degree you have not obtained. Mm. Um. So the reason why I put that there is because there's a lot of people that feel that they're not accomplished because they don't have a, a degree at all or they don't have the highest degree. And there's so many times where people get promoted on job or get on job training yeah. and they end up in higher positions than people that actually have degrees. So it's really just a matter of standing fast and knowing that God is going to work something out for you mm -hmm. as long as you do your part. Because he's not going to do it for us. Right. So as long as you do your part and you keep going, you'll get it done. And you won't have to sacrifice all the important things to you. Because it's, it's a matter of prioritizing, really. It is. It and is. if you prioritize correctly, then you'll be just fine. Yeah. Okay. So what that means is that what's treasure for someone else could be trash for you. Right? But it's not for you to measure, compare, and contrast. Because it's not going to affect you the same way it affects them. You have to work according to what works for you. Everybody's different. Every single person in the world is different. Everyone has one unique fingerprint, which means you are not alike anyone else. You know what I mean? So that means that you are the one true original copy of yourself, which means you try to do something else that someone else is doing and be them, it ain't gonna work for you because you're not them, you're you. So just keep that in mind, you know? It, it's fairly important. But, you know, you follow these things that we're telling you to do and um, you know, just just look out for yourself, take care of yourself, and don't let anybody, you know, treat you like you're naive because of your age. You know what you know, okay? Mm -hmm. The 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 future you will thank you for it. You know, the older you will thank you for being a smarter, wiser, younger you. And because you're young, you have a lot of time to master this. There's so many people. Um, that I have seen working in the, the healthcare field where it's like they wish that they would have done something differently when they were younger mm -hmm. because now the effects of things that they did or didn't do when they were younger have yeah. taken a toll on their health. Yeah. So you definitely want to make sure that you are being mindful of what your body needs, when it needs it, and why. So that's all I got. All right, well, we're going to wrap it up. We thank you guys for joining us. Thank yep. you for tuning in. We truly appreciate it.